Homelessness is a big issue here in America. And today in this video, I'm able to help you if you are homeless or you're about to prepare to be homeless. I'm going to go ahead and give you some tips in this video. Now, these tips I'm going to give you are not all in order. It's going to be out of order, but it's just to prepare you for the real world. Now, I made two previous videos before this, and I'm starting to see the views go up and up and up on that video. And that's a real bad sign that a lot of people, not only just in America, but in the world, are preparing to be homeless. So let's get straight into it. The first tip I'm going to tell you, if you have a laptop, I know I said in my previous video to go ahead and sell that laptop if you cannot guard it for your life. But if you're able to guard that laptop, if you're able to keep it on you, you can actually use that laptop and find work on upwork.com or you can use it on fiber.com or any other website that require you just to have a laptop and be remote. Now for the Wi-Fi, you can either go to McDonald's, go to Walmart, go to a library, or go to a Starbucks, somewhere where they give you free Wi-Fi. But when you go to these places, they're going to probably want you to order at least one thing and sit there so you can use their Wi-Fi because some places are stingy. But I know for your free local library, they're definitely going to give you the Wi-Fi. If you think you can guard that laptop, go ahead and keep that laptop so you can make an extra 10 or 15 bucks or whatever the job is paying you or whatever type of work that you can find on that laptop. But if you know you're a sleepy person, you're a hard sleeper, you can't guard that laptop. If you're on the street, just go ahead and sell it and just get the extra money. Now, another thing that you're going to need if you're going to be homeless is sunscreen. A lot of people, especially melanated people, they think they don't need sunscreen. They say, you know, the sun's not going to hurt me, blah, blah, blah. No, that's a lie. You are going to need sunscreen. And the reason why you're going to need sunscreen is because it can chap up your skin. It can mess your skin up, make it dry, make you just look old looking. And looks matter. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but you can tell when a person is homeless or if they haven't showered in a while. Their skin starts to look a certain type of way. So please, even if it's a cheap sunscreen, it's better than none. You don't want your skin to be destroyed and you don't want to look old looking while you're roaming the streets because if you're roaming the streets and people see that, a lot of people, they're going to be judgmental and just be scared of you or not want to give you money or whatever because let's say you're not doing any type of, you know, illegal substance, they're still going to think you are because the way that the sun destroys your skin. Now, another tip is get a crock pot with a latch. And the reason why I'm saying you can get a crock pot with a latch is multiple reasons. Whether it's going to be for boiling water, whether it's going to be for shower, whether it's going to be for food, whether it's going to be to stay warm. A lot of people don't think about it, but a crock pot with a latch can help you in a lot of different ways, especially if you're up north. For everyone that has snow or you have extreme cold weather, a crock pot is going to be a lifesaver. And I'm pretty sure you can find a cheap one if you don't want to buy it, you know, real expensive. You can probably go to your local thrift shop or some type of secondhand store and you'll find a crock pot. Now, I know I talked about crock pots and laptop, but another thing is you're going to need a battery charger for your actual phone because you are going to need a phone. If you want job interviews, if you want to be able to watch this video, search certain things up make sure that you get an external battery pack so basically it's like a little usb port you plug into your phone it works for iphone android and you're going to charge it because sometimes you can't always find an outlet so it's good to have that fully charged on you just in case i'm not saying you should do this but some businesses they have certain outlets in the back of them if you go in the back and you're able to charge your phone there but just be careful security is always lurking you know police might drive by and see you but i've seen a few people on the shorts youtube shorts they're saying that a lot of businesses leave their electricity on you just need to find the outlet camp over there charge up whatever electronic you have and you can go like that another tip for all my people who have tents out there and you're out there just camping whatever sometimes you're gonna have bugs trying to come near you or you're gonna have mouse or rats or whatever another tip is if you have hot peppers you can chop them up and you spread them around your tent it will keep away a lot of the bugs a lot of the rats and they won't try to chew their way in to your tent when you're going to be out there in the streets you're going to have a lot of little creatures going to come attack you and trying to be around you the, the hot peppers it will keep them away because they don't like the scent it will hurt their nose and they'll go ahead and scatter away just in case you're already sleeping in a tent or whatever but you at least need to do this every week so every week you need to buy some hot peppers cut them up and sprinkle them around the tent even if you're moving so if you're moving whatever location just do it just in case so we'll keep away a lot of the critters now speaking of a tent also make sure you have tarp tarp is an extra protection if you're in cold weather or if it's just a lot of rain if you have a tent plus a tarp it's 10 times better for you and not only just the rain and the weather, also against bugs because, you know, what a sheet bugs can get in it 10 times easier compared to a tarp. A tarp is a little bit more advanced for bugs. Another thing is, now I know this is going to be a, quite challenging for you. This is for like, though, for like houseless people who are long term. 
you can get a crate from any type of businesses they usually have the little crate they call them pallets like a wood pallet i'll probably put a picture up to show you guys and you can put your tent on that or just to elevate your bed because a lot of people when they sleep in tents they don't like to sleep directly on the ground so they'll go ahead and sleep on one of those pallets a little crate you can use cardboard boxes too but with the pallets it like you're at least up you know two three four inches and it just make you feel a little bit more protected now like i said with all these tips i'm not going in order i'm just trying to throw out some random tips even if it helped one person two people that's good enough for me so another tip is about dirty clothes maybe you don't have access to water like that and your clothes are dirty well what you can do is you can get the the dry cleaner sheet the little um i'll put a picture up the thing that make your clothes smell good and you can throw them in a the dryer and you can put one or two quarters in you know 50 cent and it will just make the clothes smell better now i know i know you're not actually washing the clothes you're just drying it but you'd rather have good smelling clothes than walking around with that sweaty musty smell you, you know the smell i'm talking about but that's just if you don't have money now if you have maybe five six bucks and you're able to wash your clothes that's be a better option but some people they literally only have like 50 cent on them a dollar on them but their clothes are dirty so if your clothes are dirty go to your local laundromat put it in the dryer put 50 cent in put the dryer sheets in and go ahead and just make it smell that that good do it the best you can you know on this channel we're trying to be one we're trying to go ahead and help each other out we're not going to go ahead and you know make fun of somebody because they don't have, even have a dollar to their name this channel is to help you improve your life and to improve your situation now i know i talk about a lot of physical stuff but one thing i want to talk about mentally is you have to stay mentally prepared you have to be sharp you have to see okay i can get out of this because you don't want to be in that you say you know what i'm cool i'll just be like this for six months and then it turns into a year then it turns into three years five years seven years ten years so you need to stay positive at all times. It's easy to give up. It's easy just to do a league of stumps assist, but you do not want to do that. Remember, this is only for a season of your life. It's not for the rest of your life. A lot of people, when they get into these type of situations, they think it's for the rest of your life. It's never like that. Trust me. So make sure you always try to have a smile on your face, positive attitude, and just give praise and thanks that you're still alive, you're still breathing. And if you're not disabled, for all my people who have had zero disability, you should be extra happy because there's some people out there on the street that are struggling with disability, whether it's mentally or physically, and you don't have nothing wrong with you. So I'm, I'm not saying you're better than them or they're better than you. What I am trying to say is you're alive you're breathing you understand like you have to give praise for that when you're just trying to give up in life and you know I'm done with this I'm done with that you, it shouldn't be like that because you can live and see another day tomorrow there are some people who went to sleep right now and in the next 12 hours they're not going to wake up so be thankful for that if you're alive right now and you're breathing you still have a purpose now another tip I have for you if you do not want to appear to either look houseless homeless you need to remain hidden what I mean by remain hidden is for all the men out there if you have beards if you have type of hair, cut your hair low if you need to, or wash your hair daily in a gas station sink or something. Anywhere that has free water, whether it's a Walmart, a gas station, a corner store, a deli, whatever you want to call it, make sure that you stay clean. You don't want to look all scruffy. You don't want your hair to look all dirty. Just make sure your body look clean and make sure your clothes at least smell decent because looks out here do matter. A lot of people, they think because they're on the street now, they can just forget about personal hygiene. You do not want to forget about personal hygiene. Make sure you have deodorant make sure your face is looking good your hair is looking good make sure you, your, your eyes at least if you have like a red eyes because you're not getting enough sleep or yellow eyes because of something you can wear dark glasses or something but you need to look presentable because people will look at you there's some people right now we walk past every day we don't know they're homeless we do not know there's some people walking with suits and glasses and everything and they look good but you just don't know so remain hitting if you want to because if you don't remain hitting security guards police officers and other people who just usually don't like homeless people you know what i'm talking about we see the videos with them uh, harassing homeless people or saying hey you can't be over here you're loitering and stuff like that it's going to be 10 times different so carry yourself in a certain type of way now i know what a lot of you are thinking a lot of you are like well how am i supposed to look good and blah 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 now this is another tip and it's going to sound pretty crazy but if you're on a website right let's say it's either tinder or let's just say you're couch surfing. Let's say you either you want to try to date someone and stay a night at their house or you're just couch surfing. But I think for couch surfing, you, you got to pay for it too. Like you got to pay for the app. But let's just say you're on a dating app, right? Or a type of app that you can stay at someone's house. When you go to their house, you can just use your bathroom and freshen up. I'm not saying you have to be with the person. You got to sleep with the person, et cetera, et cetera. But I actually heard a, a couple of homeless people they go on these websites, they go over the person's house or whatever, and they just freshen up right then and there. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, you're using them. You're just going to 
for the bathroom and trying to get a free shower or you're just trying to look good. I mean, you're homeless. You're just trying to do the best that you can. And you can tell them your situation is up to you. But getting someone bathroom just to freshen up, I don't think is a bad thing. Just don't be crazy or trying to hurt them or do anything to them. You know, go to their bathroom and just look the best that you can. Now, another tip is speaking of gas station, other restaurants and stuff like that to go freshen up. Do not visit the same place over and over and over. If a restaurant see you come into the restaurant four or five times a week, they will get suspicious. Hmm, is this person homeless? Especially if you're coming in with a backpack. The staff will start to notice you and they probably want to start kicking you out or harassing you. So when you go to locations, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I say you should have seven different spots if you need to go freshen up. Whether you need to wash your face, whether you need to use the bathroom or whatever. Seven different locations trying to roll take them out the week so if you're going there once a week that's perfect now 10 locations are better but nowadays with a lot of places it's like all the restaurants and all the shopping places are in one area so if you have seven different spots you go to each spot a day that just go back to what i was saying about staying hidden you want to be able to stay hidden and not know let people know your next move now let's talk about the fun stuff you need to have a hobby if you're going to be homeless like i know you probably don't have a job or you're probably just struggling right now maybe you do have a part-time job but you're going to be bored you know you're not going to be working 24 7 365 you know what I mean? So learn the skill. If you don't know how to draw, this is the best time to draw. If you don't know how to fish, this is the best time to fish. If you don't know how to play a certain instrument, this is the best time to play an instrument. You will have free time. You will have freedom. So whether you want to search up free local events around your area just to go and hang out with the local population, whether you just want to go sit down by the beach and be at the beach for three, four hours, whatever it is, you need to keep something to keep your mind occupied. One thing I see with a lot of the houseless people around me, a lot of them just sit on the corner and they do their illegal substance. And, you know, that's their life. But if you do not want to be in this situation long term, you need to find something positive to do. The best thing I can tell you is to find local events that you can go hang out for. Some events are like they'll start, uh, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning and they'll end at 4 p.m. That's a long time. So if you can spend six hours, you know, five, six hours there and just have a good time, that's amazing. While you're there for that five, six hours, you can go ahead and meet different people and talk to people. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking like, well, why am I going to hide my stash? You got to hide it in a place that someone will never, ever look. Please do not wear camel. I see a lot of people wear camel, camel hat, camel shirt, pants, boots, even just don't wear camel. It brings a lot of attention. When people see people wearing full on camel, they look at you like, hmm, are you a hunter? Are you a type of military? Or are you a crazy guy? Camel is usually associated with, I can say either violence, hunting. Camel's not a real good thing when you see camel. So please avoid wearing camel. It will bring a lot of attention to you. It's just gonna make you really look suspicious and you don't wanna look suspicious at all. Now, let's talk about sleep. You wanna follow where the animals go because because the reason why you want to follow where animals go, animals know where it's safe to rest. For example, a raccoon or squirrels or whatever, they're going to go in places where they know a lot of humans are not going to hurt them or where a lot of other predators are not going to hurt them. So let's just say, for example, you're in New York, upstate New York. You want to follow where the deers go. Where the deers go is going to be the most safe place. And I'm not just saying you have to follow deers. You can follow any type of other animals, but you'd rather be around a bunch of animals and be safe than be a bunch around a bunch of humans and be in danger because realistically, humans are way more dangerous compared to animals. Now, if you're scared of the dark, if you're scared of sleeping in pitch black, you can always get a hand crank flashlight or you can just get a regular flashlight with the double A batteries. And the reason why I'm saying double A batteries because those are the most common batteries to get. The batteries that you can get for double A is usually a Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar 25 and you can usually get it in a four pack or a six pack. It depends what type of Dollar Tree you go to. For $1.25, you can go ahead and always have a flashlight on you with batteries. But the overall point, what I'm trying to say to this video about looks is about food, water, high hygiene and personality make sure that you have those five because when you're a homeless person you don't want people to know you want to stay anonymous you want to blend in with society because the more you blend in with society the more opportunities are you going to have i saw this one comment on my video and she basically said like i don't think people will hire people at a restaurant if you look homeless and i said that's absolutely true but you have some people who are open-minded for example a big restaurant that's real popular won't really hire you if you look homeless but if you go to a small local mom and pop store they will most likely hire you but either way if you go to a small mom and pop store or if you're going to go to a big restaurant you want to make sure that you're very presentable you want to make sure your personality is up to par now if you're a person who's on the street and you say you know what i don't care how people look at me i don't care about other people opinion and stuff like that that's cool that's all up to you but just make sure you know that you're signing up for if you have any other tips please leave them in the comment section down below all comments will be appreciated make sure that you spread love out there make sure that y'all go ahead and help each other out in the comment section i want to thank y'all so much for watching this video now i want to say something at the end of the video that i know a lot of you are going to click off of but i'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway if you are out there in a bad situation please 
please find a religion, any religion. I'm not telling you, saying you need to be a Christian, any religion, and, and pray to God and just ask for help and guidance and trying to be the best person as possible. Now, I'm not saying every single body in this world will never be homeless. You know, there's some people who want to be homeless, and that's cool. If you want to be homeless, if you don't want to be part of society, that's cool. Pray to God, ask for guidance. Yes, you can do therapy. Yes, you can talk to people, but at the end of the day, you got to ask God Almighty, you know, please get you out of this situation. You need to find faith. You need to find hope. You know, a lot of people nowadays, they don't have faith. They don't have hope. And a lot of them end up giving up or a lot of them become very evil and bitter. Do not become like that. God love every single one of us straight up. He love me. He love you. He love every single person, even the ones who hate him, even the people who don't like him, etc., etc. Even the people who think he's fake. He love every single one of y'all. So please, if you're out there, don't give up. Keep faith. Please, please keep faith. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what you look like. Just continue to be better. You don't want to be that person who just want to see the world burn. You don't want to see the world burn. I know times is hard. I know you're struggling. I know finances are messed up. I know that your family abandoned you. I know a lot of bad things happen to you, but that don't mean that everyone else should be suffering. One day you will get out of this. If you're watching this video right now, if you made it this far to the end of the video, you will be in a better situation if you apply yourself to it. Anybody can, but please make sure you stay safe out there. Make sure you stay humble. Make sure you stay positive. You will get out of this situation. God willing one day and peace out.